until you came I was breathless when we first met Couldn't keep my hands away I was speechless when we first met yeah. Okay friends, it is about time we film this video and I am so excited I can't even hide it anymore. <laughs> Um, if you guys just watched my previous video, you just watched my Optavia unboxing and there is one feeling in particular in my most recent Optavia box that needs to be addressed. And my dog is snoring and she is so loud. Just give me one second. Lulu, you're so loud. You're so loud. Can you take it down a notch? Okay, as I was saying, there is one feeling in particular that I was most excited to come in my Optavia box this month, and that is the golden chocolate chip pancake. Okay, let's talk about this. I personally believe that my number one fueling of all time is the golden chocolate chip pancake. I have one every single day. No matter what, I have a golden chocolate chip pancakes to start my day. I think these are absolutely delicious. I think they're the perfect way to start my day. I think they are fluffy and delicious and chocolatey and all of the good things. Now, what I will say is these get a lot of flack, or at least they used to get a lot of flack for not being all of the things that I just said, because a lot of people, I think were making them wrong. They were probably waffling them in their dash too long, maybe adding too much water, maybe just not making them right, right? And so their pancake would come out as a waffle, dense and thick and dry and people just didn't like them, right? Now I will say, I'm pretty sure I make them right and they taste delicious the way that they were. But if you have heard the news, Optavia has just reformulated the golden chocolate chip pancake to be even fluffier and even more chocolate chips. Okay, that's a big deal, okay? I already liked them before, but if they're about to be even better, <sighs> We have to taste test this. We just have to know, we have to know. I ordered three boxes of these. They better be good, but I absolutely love this feeling. I start every single day with a golden chocolate chip pancake. And I figured since this is my tried and true favorite, we might as well do a taste test of the new reformulated golden chocolate chip pancake today on camera so I can give you my honest thoughts. I have not tasted this yet. I literally just unboxed my Optavia box this month and I cannot wait to taste test it with you. So before we do that, let me just do a real intro for this video. Hi. Hey, how are ya? My name is Ashley. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for being here. I make tons of healthy lifestyle content and specifically Optavia content because I'm actively an Optavia coach and I'm also documenting my own health journey with Optavia and I cannot wait to continue this journey here with you. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about or no idea what Optavia is, I'll go ahead and bring you up to speed. I'm in the middle of documenting what's called my Schlee's Health Journey Series, originally going through the weight loss component of my Optavia 5-in-1 plan. Since transitioned over to my Optavia 4-2-in-1 plan, implemented more exercise into my routine, Whatever your journey's looking like, Optavia is a huge staple in my routine and I absolutely love everything about it. I'm documenting every part of my journey here on my channel and if you have no idea what Optavia is, I'll go ahead and leave all of the information down in my description box below. Feel free to send questions my way. The basics of the five in one plan that you generally start out on is where you're gonna be consuming five fuelings a day that come to you in your monthly Optavia box and then one lean and green meal a day that you prepare from home. All of your fuelings and your lean and greens are spaced out by two to three hour increments and that is what brings us into optimal weight during our optimal health phase. So welcome to another episode of my Shalise Health Journey series. Okay guys, the wait is over. We're gonna taste test this and we're gonna see if it's worth the hype. I personally think it's worth the hype. I think it was really good even before this reformulation, but if it's even better, even better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring you guys over to my Dash Mini Waffle Maker. Side note, if you are brand new to plan and you do not have a Dash Mini Waffle Maker, go do it. I'm just telling you, you need one in your life. They are like 10 bucks on Amazon. I will link one down below. A Dash Mini Waffle Maker is a staple in my routine and I know it's gonna be a staple in yours too. I'm gonna bring the camera over to my Dash Mini Waffle Maker. It sits right over by my little coffee station and I am going to prepare my golden chocolate chip pancake the way that I always do in my Dash, waffle it for just a minute so that it's good to go and we're gonna do an official taste test to see how this turns out. Let's go try it out. Okay, first up, I'm gonna go ahead and get my Dash Mini Waffle Maker hot. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in right here. You can see the blue light is illuminated right now. As soon as that turns off, we will know that my Dash Money Waffle Maker is completely preheated. Now let's make our batter. Okay, I'm going to show you guys some of the staples in my routine as we go with this as well because I use these every single day. And please ignore the nail that happened right before I started filming and I don't even know where it ended up. Please don't judge that nail. Look at these ones. Don't look at that one. Look at these ones. All right. 
Gonna use my mini mixing bowl. These mini mixing bowls are a staple in my routine. They're literally just salsa bowls, but they're the perfect size for fuelings, okay? And they're super cheap on Amazon. I always use these to mix together batter for my fuelings. I'm gonna start with my mini mixing bowl. I'm gonna add in three tablespoons of cold water. And then right over the water, I'm gonna add in my golden chocolate chip pancake mix and mix it all together. Oh, look at all those chocolate chips. That definitely looks like more than normal. Definitely more chocolate chips. This is exciting. I'm gonna grab my mini baking utensil, also another staple in my journey. These are on Amazon, super cheap, but they are the perfect size for mixing together your fueling and also getting all of your batter off the sides. Trust me, you need these. Mix it up. Okay, so here's a pro tip. This is so funny that this is happening. I must have just gotten excited. So for anybody who's asking for tips on their waffles, this batter is too runny, but it's not unsavable. So really, if your batter is too runny, it generally means that your tablespoons were not leveled off with your water. If you level off your water, it's usually the perfect amount of water, but I must have just gotten excited because I'm so excited about this. I think my tablespoons were a little bubbled over. So that being said, my batter is a little runny and it should not be looking like this, but there's a way that we can salvage this. Go ahead and leave this to sit for like one to two minutes. It will thicken up a little bit and then it'll be good to go for us to put into our Dash Mini Waffle Maker. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit for like one to two minutes. Oh my God, scratch that. Wait a second, I just realized, and it's so funny that I, I if she's watching this video, Wendy, I literally just got your message and I'm like, <gasps> I'm making the pancake right now. She literally just texted me, one of my clients, Wendy, if you're watching this, she just texted me saying, oh my gosh, the most important thing I wanted to tell you this morning on our check-in was I must have received the new golden chocolate chip pancake mix because they've changed it to where you only need two tablespoons of water. I made this wrong, oh my gosh. It literally says that on the thing. I just assumed it was three because like every other, every other one that I've made has been three tablespoons. <gasps> Okay, it literally says two tablespoons of water. And I'm an idiot, you guys can't read that, but that's what it says. That's why this isn't working. <laughs> okay, well, um, I'm probably gonna save that for later and maybe we'll like put it in a full pancake mix like on the griddle or something. But we need to restart. <laughs> we need to restart so that we get this fueling its proper taste test. So I'm gonna restart and I will say, you see that, you hear that noise? That's my ice maker. Is that good rescue? What are you doing? How do you fix this? It makes that noise because there's ice frozen to the back and it, it keeps clicking because it's trying to- Oh my God, that was so annoying. I'm sorry if you guys heard that the entire time. Zach's trying to that. As I was saying, we need to restart. Um, what I will say is if you do ever do the right amount of water and it's still runny, that's a really good tip to fix it. But um, there's a reason this is runny and it's because you only need two tablespoons. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, thank you, Wendy. I'm gonna text you back and say, thank you, just saved my butt. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and restart this process. Zach's gonna add in a little sound effect. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you guys the right way to make the new golden chocolate chip pancake. Okay, done. And I am in shock, you guys. This is two tablespoons of water, but I feel like it looks like the same batter consistency that I'm used to. I don't know how they did this, but it's awesome. Okay, two tablespoons of water. This batter is done. This batter is for later. Let's throw it in our dash. Okay, my dash is preheated. The blue light is no longer on, meaning it's the right temperature. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. I'm gonna use my coconut oil cooking spray just to spritz so it doesn't stick. And then this is why your baking utensil is so great because you can smooth it off the sides. I'm gonna pour in my waffle batter, pancake batter. I don't think you guys realize how exciting this is. Ooh, even the batter feels different. This is exciting. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and close it up slowly. If it's ever overflowing just a little bit, I like to hold it here until it's baked a little bit on the top so that it doesn't overflow like so. I'm gonna leave this for just about a minute, like maybe less, it's gonna be done. Oh, here we go, I got some overflow. Hold it up a little bit. After one minute, this should be good to go and we'll be able to do our official taste test. Stay tuned. Okay, should be done, let's take a peek. Ooh, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, I feel like I left it too long even. This is like kind of like brown, weird. Okay, let's take it out. Maybe you just need less time. Okay guys, Lulu just went potty and it's amazing. Um, so they just came in, 
They just went potty, and if you hear her in the background, just give her a round of applause, okay? Um, real quick, not real quick, the anticipation is killing me. We have to taste this. I paused for a minute on the video because I needed to take a picture, <laughs> um, but I have not tasted this yet, and I'm so excited. So here's what our golden chocolate chip pancake looks like, slash golden chocolate chip waffle. Okay, it smells really good. Like honestly, it smells a little different. It smells more like real pancake batter. I feel like the other one didn't really smell like that. It also feels like thick and delicious. I'm really pumped. Let's take a bite and see what we think. Okay, definitely taste the chocolate chips. I'm really formulating an opinion here because I don't, it's not what I was expecting. I think my dog just farted. This is interesting. Oh my God, this is so not what I expected. All right, let me wash my hands real quick. Okay, here's the tea. I don't think this is as good as the one that I'm normally making. Oh my gosh, how interesting, how interesting. Okay, it's, it's still good, it's still good. But the one that I'm used to, I only put it in for like a minute and it's fluffy and it still kind of looks like the batter. This looks very golden brown, which maybe that's what it's supposed to look like. I left it in for like maybe a minute. On the pack, it does say to use a griddle, so like cook it on the stove top, which I don't have time for that. Um, and it does say to spray the griddle and pour the batter and cook for two minutes until brown, flip the pancake and cook for an additional minute. So like three minutes all together we're cooking this thing and I feel like this was only in there for one minute and it's already cooked all the way. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just definitely drier than what I'm used to. Is that weird? Oh my God, this is so funny. It's definitely drier than the ones that I used to have. Like I'm like choking it down right now, you can see. But maybe if I put it in the dash for even less time, like maybe like 30 seconds, I wonder if that would do it. I'm still chowing on this thing. It's still good. I definitely still like it, but I think I'm gonna put it in there for even less time. This is so not what I was expecting. I was expecting this to blow my mind because I love the pancake and how could it get better? I'm just saying, I think I need to try it with even less time. So what I'll do, I will report back whenever I do a vlog, cause I'm gonna show this in a vlog very soon. I vlog all the time and every time I vlog, I start with a pancake. I will let you guys know if I do this for less time, like maybe just 30 seconds, if it's good after that, I just feel like it's a little dry versus the last one that everybody thought was dry. So weird. I'm gonna finish it and I'm gonna see what I can do to make it taste even better because I had it down pat with the last formula. I really did. So, so unexpected. Oh my gosh. Okay, so other than that, I wanna know what you think. Did you make it like this? How did it turn out? So weird that it's only two tablespoons of water. Crazy. Let me know down in the comments what you think of the newly formulated golden chocolate chip pancake from Optavia. I'm so intrigued. This is so funny. I was not expecting this whatsoever. So I'm gonna finish this up. I'll let you guys know in a vlog to come how I make this with potentially less time so that it's not super brown. It's still light and fluffy. That's what I really want. It's still good. It's just a little dry, which I'm sure would be fine if you add in a little syrup or add in butter or whatever it is. I just like to like, like save my condiments for later, you know what I mean? So let me know in the comments what you think of the new and approved Golden Chocolate Chip Pancake. And other than that, I'll keep you guys updated. Thank you so, so much for watching this video today, you guys. If you guys like this video, please be sure to like the video down below, as well as subscribe to my channel. Tick that notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload new videos coming to you guys every single week and plenty more vlogs to come. Stay tuned for the Golden Chocolate Chip Pancake Saga. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.